And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Well, the cold caverns are shaping up. I've got some lights up here. These are the normal vanilla electric lights. And you can see I've got them exactly 64 blocks from one another. And it lights up pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It's not too bright. And it's not very dark. You know, it's lighter than it was, and it's not too bright. So that's what I'm good. That's what's uh, pretty good. The floor is in. I had to get rid of all of the lights and all of the lasers and all that kind of stuff. So our camel bots are just roaming around the countryside here, uh, grazing. Not sure what, what they need to do. But I've been a pretty busy guy. So I've got a induction charger here in hopes that it attracts camel bots. I'm not sure. It looks like it is because I've got 30 organic rock waiting for me over here. Now the other thing that I've got is an area for so I've got this area here and this area over here marked off ready for the blast furnaces and the cargo lifts, but they need power. So, ta-da! Massive, massive amounts of power. Well, potential. I've got the cargo lifts for these run. So I've got a little bit right here of fuel. Now I need to power said systems. And to do that, we are going to, I could either <coughs> bleed off of this battery or I could pull from the surface. And as a sort of, as a sort of catch-all, I think I'm going to pull from uh, the surface just because we need it. We're going to need some power. So we're going to beam that around and in. That should connect up with that hopper, which is sort of the master hopper with a turntable up here that splits it between the two, and uh, so on and so forth. So there we go. As soon as this kicks in, this will start to charge, which is enough power to send power back down. How did a camel bot get up there? I would love to know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why you hate me? Look at the camel bots around here. They just are itching for something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So this has got... Let's just make sure. Okay, that's, that's beaming back. Which is good. And that should actually pick up some now. Yep. There we go. This is out, so this that ran up to go get some more. These are on load any, but unload all. So it comes down here and it loads any that are available and delivers them. So even if there are zero, it's going to go back up. Up here, this is load any on the top and unload all. So there we just unloaded 10 more. And now I am delivering those to the system. Once this gets up and this gets charged, everything should calm down quite a bit. But I needed this power so I can start powering my cargo lifts. Otherwise, they're sad and they just sit here dark and without anything to do. And it's just sad times. So we want to... We want to charge these up so we can get some rack rails going and all that kind of good stuff. And I want to set some power over here to send down to the trencher area. Because we're going to need quite a lot of power down that way anyway for various reasons. Uh, namely air. But anyway, we're going to want some serious amounts of power. <coughs> How are we doing so far? We got quite a bit of power going. And what is this here for? 
Oh, I know what it's here for. It's here to charge that thing. But we don't want to do that anymore. How are my slimes doing over here? Do I have another do I have another party of slimes? I do. But not as many as I thought I would. I've come over here before and there are just literally hundreds over here. They're all kind of bound up on this. What are you? Anyway. So yeah, I go and once in a while I open a little hole, let them through, reset the system. I got a whole bunch bound to the side of this that I don't, I don't really like that at all. But now that we've got some power, I'm going to need to send some power into these. Um, so I need four more. Hmm. I need four more coming off of there. And I'm going to try to beam it in sideways. No, that won't really work because I'm going to put a blast furnace right here. So I'm going to have to beam it in from the top. Which means i got to get fancy. <coughs> uh, which means I'm going to have to bring it in from this side. Actually, one thing I could do is really get crazy and put them up here. Because I've already got all of these sitting up here. Might as well load them from the top. Because the the blast furnaces require a ton of power, 2,500 power a piece, um, which is two upgraded, fully upgraded, like chrome lens upgraded uh, LPTs. So let's see. So if I do one, two, three, four, I want these all to have lenses in them. Okay, so the next one goes right here. So this one oh, is basically two over from where I am now. So I go up. I need to go in. that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man, that's not going to work. Like so, I should line up right with, right with that. Yep. So I want this to go over. Now the next one Uh, comes in. Oh, wow. It just walked right off that. Okay, right here. Yes. So. Nope. Right here. Let's see if I can wiggle in there. It's like that. There's another one should line up right now these two are way out here whoa whoa oh I ran out of power come on charge me up yeah that jetpack just uses so much power so much power all right So I want to Yes, I want that high. Cuz that's got to go in there and I might as well put this one and this one in while we're at it. So we're going to head on over here. Well, whoa. whoa. Okay, so while we're up here, let's first add to that. Let's 
so I don't fall and hurt myself. Okay, the next one is right, right here. Next one, I think, should be right here. Nope, maybe one more out. Yep, one more out. There we go. Now it's just a matter of <coughs> hooking them up. Did I put a lens in that one? I did. E. Oh, I knew I was going to do that. I knew I was going to do at least one of these where I was going to put a laser somewhere way behind it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. So, these now have power. I can now start sending the massive amount of uh, rack rails that I need to send down there. So look, I wonder if I can use a huge hopper. But we're going to try it. Yes, we can. So there is one, two, three hundred blocks going down. And I know it's going to be <clears throat> a little bit more than that. It's going to be more, or yeah, it's going to be way more than that. So this will start it off and at least make some progress for that. How many more rack rails do I have? Oh, I got quite a few more. There we go. Now we've got umpteen power going into those. And we are now able to do the rack rail thing. And this process takes a while. I mean, even with even with max power, it's you know one one thousand two. It's it's two or three, two or three blocks per second. And we're talking. Let's see that that trench that I dug out of there or that hole. That was set to 580. The height on that was set to 580 and I didn't poke the ceiling. So it's it's between 580 and 580, 550. Somewhere between 580 and 550. So it's got a ways, a ways to go. But it is it is decent. I mean, it's not super duper fast, but it is it is rather decent. What what are you complaining about? Shaft depth sixty three. No, I'm pretty sure you're deeper than sixty three. Oh, there's a there's a crystal right here. <laughs> what are the odds of that? that there is a crystal right in the way that's the one thing i couldn't dig out because i don't i don't dig out crystals that's that would be bad so i need to enable this check rail and this is still oh this this is done shaft depth 300 so let's put the last batch this should be able to use all of these, or maybe not all of them. Maybe it'll use 550, maybe it'll use roughly three quarters of them. So we are going deeper now. Good, good, good. Are these all empty already? Wow, these all emptied already. That is actually pretty fast if you have the rack rails on you 
if you didn't have the rack rails on you, you would be waiting a while. So I'm glad I grabbed them while I could. So this is 400. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they come out. Cause I've got all that set up. So the situation with power, um, I think instead of going right down the middle, what I usually do when I do a mine shaft, I go right down the middle with the power. Um, rather than do that, which is a nightmare to actually build it out because you have to like place blocks in midair and that's not an easy thing to do. So you guys all need to meet your maker. There you go. How many? I have almost 7,000. That is insanity. Considering I had eight when I started this. Placing batteries is not the smartest thing to do, but you know, if it's gonna get rid of some camel bots, I'm all for it. I don't like like cruising around and then hearing them hearing them chitter behind me. I just that really freaks me out. Okay, 565. Really right smack in between 580 and 5, uh, 550. So it's all good. 68 left out of all that. And these are still going. So let's... Ooh, I don't even have enough rack rail. There's 68 there and 68 there. Um, I think I have just enough to finish it off. Before I put a cargo lift in there, I want to go down and double check to make sure that that height is right. I mean, they're all the same, which tells me it is. So 565, oh, that's still doing it. Uh, 565 and 565. Really, the only way that's even possible is if they're all on the, you know, if I they're all at the excavated level that I already dug out. They just usually don't come out that, that accurate. So I have roughly, I think I'm going to have just I had like 5400 on me and this doesn't even this doesn't even take into account the uranium that goes down that goes down oh 1300 I think I don't even remember did I write it down I didn't yeah uranium goes down a very long ways so that's another 2500 rack rails Good thing I've crafted so many. Ooh, we're coming right down to the wire. No, I'm not going to have enough. Nope, I'm going to be short just a little bit. This is 565. Yep, I'm going to be short. Wow, I can't believe I was short. That's crazy. Oh, I'm racing. I'm racing you. Oh, I'm winning. I think this goes up at 12 meters a second. And this only goes up 10. I could load more in there. It would it would bring more down each run. So let me, let me put a small storage hopper. Oh, and that, oh, wow, that just launches you sometimes. 
uh, this is going to be remove only. And this helps because this is remove only, which means this thing can take from it, but it also means that the matter mover can remove from it. And that's the important bit, that the matter mover is able to re remove. Look at that, only, you know, only brought five back, so that's good. Now, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, rack rail. Let's uh, zip over here. Bear belts, rack rail. I need... I'll grab 200. I, that, that should be plenty. Let me drop off any garbage I have. No garbage. I have a little bit of titanium that came from places. I'll be a slime. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna put the rubies away. And I think that is all she wrote with, with that. Plus, Arthur gets a little bit of more of a free juice up here. There you can see this is all torn apart. It's all gone. Like it never happened. While well, this thing is here, but. Contemplating whether I should tear that down too. Don't really need it anymore, unfortunately. It looks like that is still what not sure how many that'll load but that is on load any as well so as soon as it pauses long enough it will come back down and the unload all make sure that it stays down here while it's unloading. So if when this thing empties out, um, or when this thing is full, or rather, this will stop running altogether. Okay, rack rails go in. Just a few more ready to go. 565, that's the magic number. As long as we hit 565, I am happy. There it is. All right, so I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put a 2000 slot hopper here, one here, and we're gonna go, where's my other, over here. I wanna put one here and here, because a blast furnace will go in this spot and this spot and they'll pull from this hopper and a blast furnace does not unload into a hopper it unloads into the casting base so um, you don't have to worry about the casting basin throwing or the furnace blast furnace throwing bars into our hopper so that will just do just fine I think um, and now that we have power over here I think it's time we start on the power down to below. And this mine shaft is already dug out, so I just need to get a platform to build my first. Well, what height do I want to be at? Because these go 128 blocks. Um, yeah, this is going to be a little weird. 128, 256. So I'd have to go up to like 256 to even, which is possible. No, it's not possible because I'm going up. So 240, maybe a good number. How many blocks tall is this? If I put a, let me put a, 
MK4 right on the side of this, right above all of those lasers. Oh, one more. There we go. That should immediately dump all of its power into this thing as soon as it finds it. It's got to find it first. And the way that the algorithms work, oh, look at that. The strobe. Yeah, these things generate a lot of light, so we've got plenty of light down here now. And it's full already. 270,000 power, just like that. Good to go. Um, but now I need a center line. Where is that line at? See, that is off center from where I actually wanted it. So I might have to break that and rebuild it somewhere else. Because this is my center line right here. I don't even know where the edge is. This is the edge. So this is my center line right here. So if I built one right here, that would be ideal. Just make sure that's my center line. Yes. Let's make sure this is my center line. Yes. Okay. So I can break this one. I don't want to break that Mark V. I really, even though I could recharge it. That's four and a half million power that I would just have to like say goodbye to. Okay, let's. And each face of this is capable of transmitting 10,000 power per second, so we are good on power. Now I just need to build this out. So how many blocks is this tall? This is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the eleventh block. From here. From this level. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that, those lifts, I don't like building near lifts just because they are exceptionally annoying. <clears throat> Go over here. There we go. Some preliminary work in. We don't have any conduits yet. Those are coming. Um, we're going to need to start automating the uh, lenses. Or at least get a manufacturing process up for those. Because <clears throat> I'm going to desperately need them soon. So how much chromium do we have left? So we have 211. Uh, so we have at least you have 100 conduits that we can build with all of that. So we are, we are good to go. Um, but that will have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.